Hello everyone, it's Lorraine and welcome to step one of my um, mini series for my blog relaunch which is um, breaking down the manicure and step one is trimming. So what I'm going to do is explain why, which obviously trimming um, is pretty obvious why, but also how and the proper technique for trimming your nails and also some tips and tricks that might help you get the best results and then also tools that I use in um, while I'm trimming my nails. So I'm going to go ahead and switch to angle so that you can actually see me demonstrate how to trim your nails properly. The first thing you want to do is when you're trimming your nails, you always want to go from side to center and then go to the other side to the center. You never want to cut from the middle because if you see how um, the pressure that is being placed here on the nail, this is really going to, especially while they're wet, this is really going to weaken your nail plate. Your strength is here in the center of the nail, so you never want to go, even if the nail file, the nail trimmer will fit this way, it is best not to trim and try to do it all in one fell swoop. It is best to go from corner to side, and then also when you're reducing length, when you're trimming it, you want to trim it so that it is slightly longer than the length that you actually want because when you are filing you are going to reduce length um, also while filing so that's why you want to trim your nails um, so that they are longer than the length that you actually want your nails to be so that when you file you're going to reduce your the length even more and you don't want it shorter than what you're going for so that's the basic gist of what you need to do in terms of why and how to properly um, trim your nails and then what I will just quickly show is if you are trying to achieve rounded these aren't very good like these are really old so I would just make sure you have very good um, good clippers and again you still want to trim from corner to center um, to do that and again having really good clippers are essential as you can see this one gave me difficulty so that means I'm putting way more pressure than I would should have to which means I there's potential for breaking and then if they're not sharp you can see how it didn't cut it cleanly and so it's like I'm having to like press down and pull which is also damaging your nail so that's why having a good um, nail clipper with very sharp edges um, I don't know if you can even see that but right here in it's like it's it's not like the piece there's look like the piece is missing this is key you want to make sure you get really good quality implements because they are going to deliver the best results and you're not going to have the trouble like I just showed you with those so you want to make sure they're very nice and sharp as you with these I didn't have to do hardly any extra effort in terms of trimming my nails trimming the nail um, it was very easy to trim and you can still get the gist of trying to do a rounded shape and then just refine it once you're filing. So that is the how and why, um, how and why to, um, to do the nail trimming properly. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I will also leave some links to some of the different suppliers other than, um, also Julep and some other suppliers that I've found, um, um, been able to purchase implements from and you don't need a license and they're very good quality. So um, thanks for watching. Stay polished at all times and have a fabulous day. Bye.